Today, we will talk about the house money effect, its meaning, examples, and frequently asked questions. The house money effect is a theory that explains why investors take on greater risk when investing profits earned through investing compared to investing their savings or wages. People tend to think of investment income as separate from other money they've earned, which influences their mental accounting. The house money effect was first defined by Richard H. Thaler and Eric J. Johnson of the Cornell University Johnson Graduate School of Management. It's based on the tendency for individuals to take winnings from previous bets and use them in subsequent bets. For example, after earning a profit from a high-risk stock trade, an investor may proceed to take on an even higher risk trade due to a temporary increase in their risk tolerance. Even longer-term investors may fall victim to the house money effect. After significant gains in a growth-oriented mutual fund, an investor might decide to invest in a very aggressive long-short hedge fund, showing a temporary increase in their risk tolerance. This effect also applies to company stock options, where employees may experience significant losses from overestimating future gains. The house money effect is different from the concept of letting winners ride. While the house money effect leads to taking on greater risk due to recent profits, letting winners ride involves a calculated strategy of increasing position size when gains exceed expectations. Managing risk is an important aspect of trading and investing. Risk tolerance refers to how much risk an individual is willing to take when trading or investing. Higher risk tolerance means being comfortable with higher risks, while lower risk tolerance means avoiding high-risk investments. Age and financial goals largely determine risk tolerance, with younger individuals usually having higher risk tolerance. Volatility is considered good for trading because it presents the opportunity for higher profits. Large price swings create trading opportunities that can result in above-average returns. However, higher volatility also means a greater chance of losses, which can be amplified due to the large price movements. Investment profits are taxed differently depending on how long the investment is held. Profits from investments held for less than a year are taxed at the individual's regular income tax bracket, while profits from longer-term investments are taxed at the capital gains tax rate, which ranges from 0% to 20%. Here are five key takeaways. 1. The house money effect is a behavioral finance concept that explains why people take greater risks with investment profits. 2. Risk tolerance refers to how much risk an individual is willing to take when trading or investing, largely determined by age and financial goals. 3. Volatility is considered good for trading as it presents opportunities for higher profits, but also increases the chances of losses. 4. Investment profits are taxed differently depending on the holding period, with shorter-term profits being taxed at the regular income tax bracket and longer-term profits at the capital gains tax rate. 5. The house money effect involves a lack of rigor in investment decisions and is not to be confused with a calculated strategy of increasing position size when gains exceed expectations. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.